hello everybody welcome back to another video on my channel hope you're doing good hope you're doing well as Joanne Hadjam is the latest player in the brand new Algerian revolution of 2023 although to be fair we might not be seeing him in the main Algerian national team we could but he might be in the sort of under 23 uh, local Olympic side for now but we'll see how that one pans out so basically left back first half of the season uh, Hadjam was at Paris FC in Ligue 2 in France in January, he made the move to Nantes in Ligue 1, um, 19 years of age, and he's been looking very, very bright at left-back for Nantes this season. Of course, the same club as the likes of Andy Delors, another Algerian international, and French under-19s actually called him up last year, and he represented them a couple of times, so France were already looking at him. This year, the French under-21s have tried to approach him at the same time that the Algerian national team have tried to approach him. So he's literally got both offers on the table, but it looks like he's decided to take the Algerian offer. Again, just 19, he's got his whole future ahead of him. And you know what the French team is like. Very hard to get a look in, in any position left back. You've got what, Hernandez and Hernandez. So those Hernandez is alone, realistically, is Hajem ever gonna play for France? But this guy's not even played for the French under 20s, under 21s, only up to under 19s. Algeria have come along calling, trying to get this done early on and um, this is a real one for the future the only problem is we we talk about the French situation having good left backs what about the Algerian left backs you've got Rami Ben Savani and Ryan Ait Nori both in the fold now so forget the French yeah forget all the baguettes and that stuff our left back position is looking pretty healthy as well not to mention La Russie, Gulam, Fares and many many more that can fill in in that position so it's looking good in that area of course Competition for places is very, very healthy and we want players that can play in positions and if they're not willing to start yet, be on the bench and be happy to come in. And also on the training pitch, challenge Belmadi and give him selection headaches. So this is good, like I say, just 19. So, and only he'd been in league after a matter of months, but definitely one looking ahead for the future. So Hajem, uh, Jawan Hajem, remember the name at left back. This is a guy we should be getting accustomed to and overly used to, inshallah. Whether or not he's in that, Squad for the uh, AFCON qualifiers against Niger remains to be seen. Like I said, Ben Sabani and Ait Nori will almost certainly be in that squad. So would he take three left backs? I'm not sure. Would you see Hajem play for a for an under-23 Algeria side at the beginning? Like Mehdi Dorval. Remember Mehdi Dorval? We spoke about earlier in the year in Serie B and at Barry in Italy. He's going to be playing for the Algerian under-23. So there's a few coming through that system as well. It's good to get a system going through. We've got the Chan local team as well that just lost the final on penalties. The likes of Eamon Machios uh, and Zinedine Belaid from defence. I think you're going to see both of those in Belmadi's squad. Certainly they're in the preliminary squad. So Belmadi like the look of uh, Machios and Belaid, the Yusma defender. So those are two players to look out for. Whether or not we're going to see Yusuf Atal, for me, I think he's got another injury knock. I mean, he's barely come back to full fitness, not really started any games uh, recently. He, he did come on in the Conference League, but... He may have picked up a fresh injury. So if Artal is out, um, what a time to get Mitchell Weiser in. If Artal is out, what, what a time to get Weiser in. Because that is a position we need players. And if not, you're looking at the likes of Zadudka, Beniada, Belikatir going down that road again. But always good to get new players involved with the Algerian national team. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, when we get that squad, we will bring it to you. But don't expect it anytime soon. We're going to hear whispers and here's and there's. And there's a preliminary squad that's cut down to a main squad. And we know Algeria are the last team on the planet on Earth, probably in the whole solar system, if we're being honest. Alien FC would, uh, would announce their squad sooner than the Algeria squad comes out. We're all excited for this new era. We've got 10 months to LAFCON. It'll go quicker than you think. And we've got Ramadan to look forward to as well. So drop a like if you're happy that Jawan Hajjam has uh, picked Algeria. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. New player on board. Left back from non in Liga. I'll see you next time.